Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use You Can Book Me. This is a highly rated online appointment booking software. It has been used by over a million persons in over a hundred different countries. It can also be incorporated on numerous different platforms. To get started, all you'll need to do is go onto YouCanBook.me and from there you can tap on create your free booking page. It does not require you to add your credit card or anything like that. So you're going to tap on create your free booking page. Then you'll be redirected to a page just like this after entering your email address. Once you have done that from here you can see how long are your meetings and you can edit this by tapping right here. So let's say for example 2 hours then you'll tap on OK. You can also schedule when you normally take breaks as you can see right here. When are you free to take bookings you can tap on edit and then from there you can set up your opening and closing times as you can see here. Then you are going to tap on next step. After tapping on next step you could add a profile pic. You can also see how do you want to meet. You can tap here choose how you'll meet and you can select whether it is Zoom, Google Meet, set an address or place or no location. You can select any one of these options. After you're finished, you're going to tap on Create My Booking Page. Once you have tapped on Create My Booking Page, you're going to give it a few seconds while the page is being created in the background. Once the page has been created, as you can see right here, you could create a test booking page by tapping here. So you could tap right there. Or another thing that you could also do, you could go back to the original page and you can see not ready yet and you could customize your page further. So you could make some changes. So you could tap right there and let's say for example you would like to further edit it. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there you can tap on who. And after tapping on who, you'll be able to link other calendars if you want. You can also tap on when. And then from there, you can edit the times that you're available and so on, as you can see right here. You can also tap on additional options. Then from there, you can scroll down and you could tap on collect payments. After tapping on collect payments, you can simply toggle on calculate booking prices and take payments. You could toggle this on right here. Then from here you can select the currency. You can also enter your price. So let's say for example $10. Then after doing that you can tap on take payments for booking and you're going to tap on leave. After doing that you'll be redirected to Stripe and you'll simply fill in your Stripe account information if you don't have a Stripe account as yet, you can quickly create one and you will be able to accept payment via Stripe. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on return to You Can Book Me. So you'll simply tap on that. Then you'll be redirected to this page. After doing that, you'll simply tap on save right here. Now we are going to scroll down and then you can tap on after booking. After tapping on after booking, you can see how our thank you page looks. If you would like to change anything on the thank you page, you can simply tap in, the, in this box and you can make the changes that you want. You can also select the styles and display right here and you will be able to change the background color and the template color as you can see right there. You can also edit the appointment types by tapping on appointment types from the left hand menu option and then after doing that you can select here and then we could tap on start 14 day free trial if you want so we'll do that just for example sake then you're going to tap on let's go after doing that you can choose your appointment type so you could tap here and you could type in your appointment type or you can tap on create a new appointment type right here and then for example you could type in the name or the service that you plan on providing. After doing that, I'm going to delete this one right here.
as I leave it as is. After doing that, you could tap on booking form and you can view the booking form. So you can see it will require persons to enter their first, last name and email address. If there's an additional question that you would like to ask, you could tap on add question. Then from there, you can select from any one of these options, whether it is a date, a short answer, a long answer that you'd require, an email address, a phone number, or so on, you can select it right there. Once you're finished editing it and everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on share in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on share, you can either choose to copy the URL by tapping on copy link. You can also get a QR code or you could simply tap on embed. And then from there, you could copy the embed code and you can paste it on whichever website you want. You can also tap on social. And then from there, you can select the social media platform that you would like to share it on. Now, this is a 14 day free trial, as you can see right here. If you would like to upgrade, you can upgrade for $12 per month, as you can see right there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to use youcanbookme.com. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to use youcanbookme. And keep in mind that all of the other features, if you would like to edit anything, you can find them on the left hand menu option as you can see right here. So you can view your calendar event by tapping right there. You can see it. You can search all of the settings right here and every option that you want, you'll find it in this section. And to go back to your main dashboard, you can simply tap right here, then tap on OK. And after doing that, you can see right here, you're now back on your main dashboard as you can see here. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.